Welcome back to Panel Day Superheroes Ahoy. Welcome back to Panel Day Superheroes Ahoy. My name is Tushar. So I thought I'll make a video on the manga books that I'm currently reading these days and also share with you some of the animes that uh, I am caught on with. So uh, to start with, uh, let's take Jintama. So uh, I have a thing for science fiction meets fantasy mangas, also some which are not very popular. So some which are tough to get. I uh, find them very interesting, uh, something around like a couple of decades ago. Uh, some series or some manga. Uh, I personally feel that the art that was coming around that time was much more deep, uh, much more uh, nuanced than what we get currently. Although I'm not in the best position to say that because I've not read many mangas, but uh, just generally on the on the basis of what I'm reading currently, uh, the, some of the popular titles that I've picked. I find the titles that came around 2000 time, 2000, 2005 uh, seem to have a better art. So uh, to start with Jintama, Jintama is, uh, is uh, mainly a samurai versus aliens kind of manga and uh, it's, uh, it is a very quirky zany look at the Edo era and uh, juxtapose that with aliens and then with some of this shonen jump elements like teenagers humor and uh, there is some funny thing like uh, there is a former samurai here called Jin Toki Jin Sakata and uh, he's hot-headed and then he takes up odd jobs and then how he interacts with these other characters like uh, uh, mainly like sleazy alien money lenders monster on rampage and then the different different uh, kind of adventures that he goes through that is uh, what Jintama is all about the author here is Hideaki Sorachi this book was written somewhere around 2004 uh, the weekly shonen jump and there was also an animated series uh, around 2006 uh, this book also has uh, his uh, one short story it's called Dandelion I found it quite fun and it's not like a, it's not like a very short story. You do get some good pages of Dandelion. So this is Dandelion. This was my first story. It's a standalone piece. It was popular that sometimes people do plays on it and things like that. So this is Dandelion. Coming to Jintama, I'll tell you something else. There is very funny chapter names here for in this book. You can see the chapter names are like nobody with naturally baby hair can be that bad. Responsible owner should clean up after their pets. And it also has a lot of in references to Shonen Jump. So sometimes it, uh, it breaks the fourth wall. So weekly Shonen Jump sometimes comes out on Saturdays. People who make with first impressions usually suck and so on so overall quite a fun manga uh, Jintama that's exactly the kind of stuff I look forward to some great art a lot of humor and you completely get immersed in the world that the writer and the artist create so that's my first recommendation Jintama 1 this was uh, bought from Bookswagon Coming to the next uh, manga, I have some old stuff here again called Ghost Hunt. I think this is uh, not that old, but this was uh, this came out around 2010. So Ghost Hunt, uh, as the name suggests, it typically deals with paranormal investigators, mysterious occurrences, but uh, with the shonen jump element of uh, school and. Uh, so this one's called School Nightmare, this one is called Mansion of Malice and this series was completed around 2010 and it deals with spiritualists, paranormal investigators but uh, there is also some fun tone but I would say overall the tone is not a lot of fun, there is not a lot of humor but what you get is some great art, a great atmosphere and uh, as you can see the art is just awesome. The pages are yellowed because this is an older book 
but I am a sucker for these kind of books because you get some something of great substance with these books. So this is just two volumes that I could find of the second hand book Ghost Hunt and uh, I quite dig this one. So that's about Ghost Hunt. Now coming to another uh, uh, book that I was very happy to find. This is called FLCL Omnibus and this is actually by Gainex which is a studio and the art is by Hajime Ueda. This is a complete uh, manga series. There is no parts, nothing. Everything is compiled in one book and uh, it is quite like a, a cult uh, book or a cult manga. Uh, FLCL by the way stands for Fooly Cooly. So it's a science fiction meet, uh, you know, conspiracy means sexy space aliens and meet boy girl and, you know, <laughs> teenager elements. And uh, this is something very abstract because it's it the plot on paper might sound like your typical shonen jump, but the way uh, the art and the book uh, takes place, if you can think of uh, Uzumaki but in a funny kind of uh, environment so this is what Fooly Cooly or FLCL is. It was quite uh, quite a cult favorite and uh, I'll just show you some pages of it. Uh, the synopsis says in the surreal sci science fiction romp, sullen Japanese boy finds himself in the middle of an interstellar conspiracy and uh, yeah so there is a lot of things in here. Uh, let me just show you a few pages. This is like a a very collector's item I would say because you get some awesome stuff here this is something that is worth uh, in uh, worth keeping in your collection if you uh, like something abstract like something very cool this is what I like about FLCL there is obviously some great art it's coming from a, a animation studio but there is also some great writing in here and there is some things that uh, is it's worth uh, immersing in apart from your regular manga read so if you are uh, reading like let's say chainsaw man or demon slayer then you might keep this for like a weekend read because this is something that you will not finish in a day this is something that will uh, require a focus reading from you you will immerse in the images it's not your average manga it's not does not tell a conventional story it's very surreal as the title suggests and yeah this is FLCL I really love this and it's always good to have these kind of manga books which uh, break the convention and bring to you something very cool and apart from that you get everything in one volume so that is something always very admirable about manga so you can see just the art I might do a another video on FLCL because I think this is something that will grip me uh, with its greatness for a month or so or more so yeah flcl highly recommended uh, let me see what else i have and trying to wrap up the video here as well so this is uh, no guns life uh, i think i dis uh, discussed this earlier as well no guns life is your uh, dystopian cyberpunk with uh, this uh, protagonist he, has a revolver as his head and uh, this is something that was written by Tasaku Karasuma it came around 2014 and it went on till 2021 uh, if you've heard of the book Colorless that is another uh, book in the similar genre like cyberpunk and uh, this is what it deals with so I really found it fun there is not much comedy in this but uh, it's a really great uh, cyberpunk book it's your typical guns and fight sequences but then also some great characters it might remind you of uh, some places of Judge Dredd and uh, yeah any of the famous science fiction or uh, dystopian kind of, uh, of plots or stories but uh, I think it's worth checking out. It's something that uh, if you are into collecting, then No Guns in Life is No Guns Life is a great book. There's this neon kind of color pattern covers. There's also a, a a sleeve kind of cover that comes in this. But I just picked up one, and I'm really caught up with this. So I might pick up more of No Guns Life. So that is about my small uh, manga reading uh, update. Uh, and then there is a Your Name light novel, there is the good old uh, 
Kaiju number 8 About my anime watches I am currently watching Hell's Paradise so it's a it's a short uh, series there's not much in it like nine episodes but it's really something very different and unique it's uh, really dark but then also very uh, engrossing anime that i am watching currently it's fruits basket i'd heard a lot about it and it's a lot of fun it's on animax which is like an add on on amazon prime there is a lot of episodes i think the first season itself has like some 30 odd episodes It's your typical cute fantasy, warm, cozy kind of watch. So that's two anime watches recommended from me: Hell's Paradise and Fruits Basket. And then there's a whole lot of manga, and uh, I do plan to cover some other mangas as well. So on my channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned, and uh, that's about it. A, ma- a manga and anime kind of uh, update from Panel Days. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.